Mods that utilize or extend the capabilities of redstone to unlock its true potential for its application and use in contraptions or factory and machine setups. Redstone Bits Redstone Bits brings new utilities to the game. You have the placer, which works like a dispenser, and it places a block at random. The breaker, which drops blocks in front of it and can make use of a tool inside. Copper buttons that stay pressed for varied lengths of time based on their oxidization level. Analog redstone lamps, which emit a light level based on their received signal strength and redstone displays to display a number pertaining to their strength. These are just a few of the new features added through this mod. Gauges and switches. Now the idea of this mod is to output or measure redstone power through different stylized devices. The switches come in the form of buttons and levers, shock sensitive pressure plates, entity detectors, day and interval timers, light, lightning and rain sensors, switch link relays and receivers or trapdoor switches. Gauges come in analog or digital variants, alarm lamps, sirens and bells or as sensitive glass that emit light and can change their colour. All of these 3D blocks look really attractive when in place down. Redstone Pen The redstone pen and quill are craftables used to apply redstone tracks which are independent trails and the items store redstone within or take them from your inventory. Redstone Paste Redstone paste is similar to dust but you can apply it in a different way and transmit circuit signals across a new variety of surface types like ceiling and on the side of walls. With this, you can also make use of sticky repeaters and comparators to keep the signal strength and current strong or apply more complex logic. Pace can be applied to four different block face directions, which makes redstone pathways more compact and dense, which in turn let you apply current in basically any direction. The pace is interchangeable with dust and it can work alongside it. Tiny redstone. Redstone builds are usually very large and a little messy in terms of cable management. With tiny redstone, you can now make use of tiny redstone pieces to form equally tiny redstone circuitry. The circuits you create can be copied and shared via blueprints and you can pick them up and move them and rotate them around or link them up with other circuits, even letting you dye them a colour or apply a type of camouflage. Each block space has the ability to store up to 448 components within their 8x8x7 grid space and you can select which sides of each piece of the dust connects to make circuits more compact. Wireless Redstone CBE Redstone is all about cables or trails and wires but no more. With wireless redstone, you can transmit a redstone signal or state entirely wirelessly. The signal goes through a dimension which is called the redstone ether, aka R ether, a dimension with no physical form which purely just roots and stores signals within it. This mod is great for using redstone in a more simple way. Tinker's Mechworks. This is a refreshing pick as it focuses upon redstone based machinery that's really unique and fun. The mod adds in copper and aluminium ores into the world generation system, which are the main craftable materials required for the new recipes. The main fun feature here is the drawbridge. This can be placed down and it's completely retractable, allowing for the use of any block as a drawbridge, even ones that pistons themselves normally cannot move. This block holds their own inventory as items and you can even place other drawbridges within drawbridges. Neater, the fire starter switches on and off and it sets a block in front of it ablaze, laying down fire when a redstone signal is given to it, although it can also extinguish it optionally when you take away the power. Wireless Chargers These new chargers allow for charging nearby blocks and player kit with an effective highlightable area. There's the basic wireless player charger for charging player items within a 9x9x9 zone of 50 forge energy per tick per player. Advanced wireless player chargers, which cover a 13x13x13 zone at 200 forge energy per tick, and the basic wireless block charger a 5x5x5 zone covering charger that also works at 50 forge energy per tick. As you've guessed, the advanced wireless block charger works at 200 forge energy per tick, but with a 7x7x7 effective block radius. Create. How can I describe the Create mod? This mod is a mega content adding machinery expansion that brings tools and blocks for building and aesthetical automation with many decorations
decoration and design features. The countless added elements allow for a plethora of different design choices to be used and brings a large challenge in setting up amazing animated beautiful contraptions where different components and pieces work together to do something useful. Just watch the footage to show some of these amazing creations and machinery possible with this mod and if it entices you further and you're interested more about what you can build with it check out my video link down below the top 10 create mod creations and contraptions to show you some of the most awesome builds that the community have made with this mod project red any player of the old school tech mod packs such as tech it will know of project red it's a collection of sub mods making up a vast redstone circuitry based expansion introducing new wiring methods logic gates integrated circuitry pieces and more to improve redstone contraptions exponentially project red is in fact an unofficial relaunch of the red power 2 mod familiar for logistics automation decoration and more options for the construction of large mechanisms and machinery don't overlook this mod it's basically broken down into multiple parts being the core integration for the redstone logistics and gates fabrication for machines and items for making electronic chips transmission for additional redstone wiring cables expansion for constructing large machines transportation which adds pipes and tubes for routing, exploration for world generation features in the form of trees, ores and volcanoes, illumination for new lighting solutions in 16 colours, and then there's compatibility to make it work with many other popular mods which you may wish to run alongside it. Redstone Power A little change to most of the mods I feature being Forge mods, this fabric mod is inspired from the famous old Red Power 2 mod and tries to add its features to the newer versions of Minecraft in a new way by bringing new redstone additions and components to bring new setups to the game. It adds all new gems that can be found in the world to make tools and blocks, marble within caves that can be crafted into marble blocks for decoration, alloy furnaces that can simultaneously cook multiple items at one time, lamps in 16 different colours, lumar which is something used for lamps, volcanoes that spawn in the world with lava that are both dormant or active that are made up of basalt and other rocks, flax seeds and blocks that can grow up on soil and can be harvested, as well as indigo flowers that let you create blue dyes. It's still a work in progress, but it adds a lot of nice new additions to the game and it's inspired by one of the best redstone mods out there, Redstone Bits. This is a mod that adds a small collection of brand new redstone utilities to Minecraft to expand your setups. As of current, there are three new additions that come with this mod which aim to make your life a little bit easier when playing and for things to be a little bit cooler. First up, there's the placer block which performs in a similar way to how a dispenser does, although it places a random block that's inside its inventory directly in front of itself providing there's a redstone signal input. Then there's the breaker which is of course what it sounds like, it breaks blocks in front of it when it's powered by a redstone signal. The awesome thing about this is that it uses tools for the process, so you could place a tool or any item like a pickaxe inside and it will use that tool or item to break the block, although it takes time to do this process which is based upon the time of the item you input into the block, so if you put a diamond pickaxe inside it would break blocks at the same speed and pace as the pick would manually. The progress for the task can be seen in the UI menu of the block and it can be cancelled by inputting another redstone signal. Lastly there's the checker which is like an observer block that basically puts blocks inside of your inventory, outputting a signal if the block in front of it matches the one that's within your inventory. You can use the blocks in this mod to help automate processes too, such as making a fully automated cobblestone generator. Redstone Control A remake of a previous mod called Automates Redstone, this mod adds a brand new wiring system that aims to make redstone better with multiple new blocks blocks. Using a point-to-point -point wiring system you can transmit redstone signals between sockets and devices, remove limits of vanilla signals, have interdimensional wireless signal transmission, the ability to use new logic gates with analog add or subtract gates and counters, use wire anchors and signal name tags to organize your wiring, use compact circuits, comparators, sensors for energy, fluids, items and plant growth, use brand new display and signal control items, 
items such as a 7 segment display, lamps, sliders, new buttons, analog pointer displays and more. The addition of valves and multiple new machine blocks such as block breakers and places to interact with the world. There's a whole lot that's added in this mod that should make redstone professionals excited. Mumbo's Redstone Editions. This is a fan mod that's entirely based off ideas from the YouTuber Mumbo Jumbo and adds new blocks and redstone components and items that aim to achieve tasks currently unachievable in vanilla Minecraft. There's a block rotator that rotates entities and blocks, power pistons that push up to 24 blocks with a sticky version, improved repeaters with extended signals, entity detectors, redstone capacitors, resistors that drop signals, bluestone dust that performs like redstone but does not connect to it, wireless redstone devices such as receivers, levers and buttons that can operate three different coloured channels, block places very similar to the previously mentioned mod before, and a new recipe book called Mumbo's Redstone Editions Recipes that functions as a book of knowledge showing all mods recipes to negate the need for using not enough items or other similar recipe viewing mods at the same time. All in all this mod should appeal to those who are fans of Mumbo Jumbo or who find these new additions interesting to improve their redstone circuits. Automated Redstone. This mod is a very complex highly extensive mod that adds a very diverse collection of brand new features to Minecraft. Mainly designed for 1.12.2 this mod adds all new sensors that allow for counting of items, fluids, time and energy, valve to control the flow of energy and fluids, LED displays to view the status of your machines and many new devices that transmit and modify signals such as compact programmable circuitry systems. This mod utilises the vanilla Minecraft redstone system so it should work entirely standalone without any other mods or extensions, although it makes changes to the standard strength limit of 0 to 15 currently in place in vanilla, allowing you to have redstone strength numbers of up to millions. The mod also adds brand new variants of redstone cables with new features and the cables can be easily split or hidden away in walls by covering them with solid blocks and levers, buttons and redstone torches that can easily be attached to the cables to also toggle them. This mod simply adds too much to physically explain in words although I'm sure the demonstration should give you an idea of how powerful this mod is. Redstone++ Plus Plus. Redstone++ Plus Plus is a mod that tries to retain the Minecraft vanilla feeling and balance in the game while still adding and expanding via new features which are all highly configurable. There are new rotators and sticky rotators that rotate blocks in different directions and even support pistons. Additions to improve pistons to push other items such as chests, hoppers and dispensers. Improvements to dispensers that let them plant seeds and saplings, use shears, milk cows, place cakes and many more cool additions. Enhanced crafting tables that keep items inside when a recipe is not completed and support for shift clicking, better minecraft carts with furnaces that support hoppers and activator tracks, many new half blocks such as half redstone, obsidian and slime blocks, all new obsidian slabs and stairs, compressed cobblestone, better sea lanterns that use redstone power to toggle on or off, better signs that can be edited after placement, renameable mob skulls, a new collection of creative commands that are supported with command blocks like disabling mob spawning, nightfall, killing all mobs in the area and and weather cycle toggling and a new debug block that's used to debug problems in blocks around it. There's many additions in this mod and it adds a whole bunch more stuff than just simple redstone additions. It enhances the game's current items and adds new blocks that should already be in the game. It's just an all round enhancement mod. For more Minecraft mods and mod pack videos give the video a like and subscribe. Tell me which of these redstone mods was your favourite in the comments and why and let me know of any other redstone mods which I didn't feature in this video. Thanks for watching.